Okay, so hi, so I just wanted to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. I decided to put some eyeshadow on today because I determined that I didn't really want to go to the gym. Even though I was trying to go, I am just so tired from the weekend because me and my boyfriend were just like doing a lot together at his house and we're just really worn out. So, um, yeah, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, so... I just went to Ulta and Sephora to just pick up like two or three things that I really actually needed. I was looking for a like empty palette that I could put some of the single shadows and highlighters I'm deciding to order soon. I already ordered the sugar pill pans um, but I needed something to put in them. I wasn't going to get the sugar pill one because I think it's just too expensive and it's like in order to get the palette for free, you have to fill up the entire thing, so it ends up being like $120. So, I decided to just to, um, order, uh, just to purchase this instead, and I got one of the Tarte palettes. I don't know why I didn't think about this before, because I was, like, only thinking about getting the, um, the uh, Makeup Forever ones, but I was like, this is perfect because I don't really need the Makeup Forever one because it's like, I don't have that many single shadows. Yes, I have a lot, but it's like, I don't really need it because I have like other Z palettes that I'm using that it's like, I don't need to replace all my Z palettes. Yes, I'm not going to purchase from Z palette anymore, but I found that this would be just much easier because then I don't have to order it online and wait forever for it to come. I can just stick my sugar pills my sugar pill eyeshadows in here for now and then I'm also um, going to be ordering a couple of single highlighters from Love Lux Beauty which I'm trying to order right now but it looks like you can only purchase them through PayPal or pay with PayPal so I just want to tell my mom that I'm home so just give me a second so I'm really excited to use this I think it's gonna be perfect it's nice and durable and heavy and substantial so I really think that this is, was made really nicely um, and then when you open it, it has like, you can fold it all the way over and it has like a full, this is going to hold so much for me and it has a full size mirror. So this is already more worth it to me and the price is right because again, mirrors add a ridiculous amount to actual packaging. Like it makes the cost a lot higher and it has a really nice like fabric lining and it, it just looks really nice so I'm really excited to use this I can't wait um so I'm going to stick those in here I think this is going to be perfect so yeah I just I'm really excited to start using this and it's just leopard print and it just makes you excited to use your makeup so anyway um I can I just threw on a white t-shirt because you know I just didn't feel like making the effort today so I just concealed with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Fair and then um, I just set my face with the MAC Miller Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium and set my eyes and my eyes with the um, Laura Mercier Stick of Brightening Powder. And then I wasn't going to put on eyeshadow today, but then I received my Jouer order from uh, dermstore.com today. And oh my god, can you see this packaging? I was blown away from the packaging. I was like, wow, this is like some of the most beautiful packaging I've ever seen for a collection. It kind of reminds me of Champagne Pop with like the spritzes and stuff. Um, but I guess that means like water splashes, but it, it's kind of similar to Champagne Pop. But look at this. It's so reflective. It's so gorgeous. This is the eyeshadow palette. So I decided to use just like one of the colors on my lid. I kind of just slapped it on, but look at this. So pretty, right? I really thought this was going to be some small little uh, packaged palette. I thought it was going to be like the Lime Crime Highlight Palette where like I thought that was going to be a small little thing too. No, this is like, look at this. This is like an actual, this is like bigger than some of my other eyeshadow palettes that have like more than 12, six shadows in them. And look at this. Look how pretty these are. Like these are unreal how they swatch and I'm just obsessed already. I was really, really, really impressed with this. I mean, again, I just slapped it on, but look how pretty. Like, come on. So I only put on, like, two of the colors because you can't really wear these for, like, everyday use, but I just did something really simple. 
And I could just wear these like on my lid like every day. Like I'm obsessed. I think they're so beautiful. They swatched amazingly. I really thought this was going to be just some hyped up palette. But they are beautiful. Like I think that these are even better than the Juvia's Place um, palettes. Sorry, my best friend texted me. So um, yeah, so I just slapped on some Peach Smoothie and Creme Brulee in the crease. Just to have some crease color. And then I put on... The Skinny Dip Lid sh uh, Shimmery Shade, that shade right there, I popped that on my lid. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. And then for my brow bone, I went in with Vanilla Bean by Makeup Geek. And then for the highlight on the inner corners, I just popped on that bikini shade. They do have a lot of glitter, so be careful. Like, you can't just slap them on. You gotta, like, put on your, um, fa your eye makeup on first and then do your face. Like... I definitely realize that they do have some fallout, um, but they are so beautiful, like so pretty. So, yeah, I I am obsessed. And I also did order the Naked Urban Decay Naked Heat palette this morning because they were doing like a super limited launch, and I knew I wanted it. So I got this, and I got these for twenty percent off. I got this for twenty percent off on Dermstore.com. Such fast shipping, oh my god. But I can't get over this. They did such an amazing job on the packaging. Like, so good. So then, um, and then I just went in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara on the top. And then I just bronzed up my skin with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And then I went in with the Benefit Box Blush in the shade Rockateur on my cheeks. And then for the highlights, oh, for the highlight, I, of course, had to get the Jouer Skinny Dip Highlighter. This is a Jouer Skinny Dip Powder Highlighter. I almost didn't use this today because I didn't see the package in the mail and then I didn't realize my mom had already brought up the package. So I was like, okay, I definitely need to use this today to try it out. First off, I think the packaging is really nice. Even though some people say that this is like so tiny and why is it so small? But it's like, this is a standard size for highlighters. Like... And it's really, they're not that expensive. I think they're like $25, so they're not that expensive. Like, this was like $50 altogether. The eyeshadow palette alone was was 40 bucks. But honestly, I would have paid full price for this if I wasn't getting the discount. Because this is, I think, is 100% worth it already. And I haven't even used half the shades yet, and I already think they're beautiful. But this is a Skinny Dip Highlighter. And this is what it looks like. There's like a plastic. Oh, I always drop them. It's like a plastic overlay, but this is the first Jouer highlighter I've ever owned, and I really love the packaging. I think it's so pretty, and plus, it, again, it comes with a mirror, so it's worth it to me. Look how pretty. So I wore that today. Look at that. I think it's so gorgeous. It's, like, not as intense as I thought it was going to be. It's just, like, a medium intensity, and it makes it look so, like, pretty and summery. I just really love it so far, so... This is probably the only highlighter I'm going to be using the next couple of days along with the Lime Crime palette because I only brought the NARS palette and the Tarte palette with me to my boyfriend's house, but I'm probably just going to bring this and one other highlighter to his house again because I am planning to sleep over like tomorrow. Today I'm not because he works on Mondays and Sundays, so he works Sunday nights and Monday nights. So he worked last night and he works tonight, so he's basically just been sleeping the whole day. And then I went over everything with the Hourglass Ethereal Light Powder, then I saw everything with the Smashbox Primer Water. I actually picked up, finally, I picked up a new setting spray because that's the thing I really needed. And I've just been hearing so many good things about the NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray that I picked it up today. And there's actually a lot of product in here, so I have very high hopes for this. A lot of people say this is like a dupe for the um, for the Urban Decay, so I'm very excited to try it out. And then I just picked up the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer, because I just really wanted to own this again. I love the Maybelline Concealer, so this is like the only one I don't have right now. So, And I'm running really low on the Maybelline Fit Me and the dark circle eraser that I just decided to pick that up today because I'm running low on a lot of concealers so um and then I just brushed through my brows with a spoolie and then set them with the Anastasia clear brow gel and then for my lips I primed them with the NYX lip primer then I lined them with the ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade skimpy and then I filled them in with the Bite Beauty Luminous Cream Lipstick in the shade, not the Luminous, the Amuse Bouche Lipstick in the shade Honeycomb. So, 
yeah, that's pretty much it. So, bye. I was going to wear just a gloss today, but I was like, nah. I don't want it, like, sticking to my hair. Um, so, but the one thing is that I kind of regret not buying the Skinny Dip lip gloss, too. Because after looking at the lip toppers, I'm like, I should have bought the, the, um, the lip gloss, too. Because I got this because, you know, it's based on that lip topper. That's, like, their most expensive one. But I am really impressed with their powder products. It's so weird. Like, I feel like Galactic and Jouer do such a better job on powder products than they do liquid lipsticks. Like, I hate the Galactic ones, and I... I like the Jouer ones, but they're not my favorite formula, but they, I definitely don't hate them like I hate the Galactic ones, but really, again, really impressed, and this packaging is so gorgeous, so yeah, that's pretty much it, so bye! Okay, so hi, so I just wanted to tell you about my simple makeup look for today. I've been doing really simple makeup lately because, like I've said, I've just been staying at my boyfriend's house, and I've just been, been here and at his house, so... That's basically what's been going on, but I was talking to my best friend yesterday, and she told me that she's either coming to the island tomorrow or Thursday, and I'm going to be able to see her for, like, um, probably Friday or Saturday, and I'll probably sleep over, and hopefully we'll be able to go to karaoke. Also, possibly she might be coming to my boyfriend's house tomorrow. Depends on if she comes here tomorrow or if she comes here on, um, if she comes here on, um, Thursday. So anyway, today I decided to use a bunch of new products from like most of the online orders that I have been purchasing. Um, so I used most of the eyeshadows that I've gotten recently. I used a new highlighter that I got today and I used um, like a newer lipstick again. So and I also used a new concealer. It's not a new concealer to me. I just repurchased it yesterday. So I used it today. Again, I didn't wear any foundation. I haven't worn foundation in like a week. It's just like simpler for me and um, since I've just been going, sorry I just burped. Um, since I've just been going to his house, it really has, hasn't been that big of a deal. Um, and plus since in the summer months, I really don't wear foundation that often. I will, but it's like, it's, it's been really hot lately and I just have not felt like wearing it. Again, the only, like, foundation type product I'm bringing with me is the Naked Skin One and Done. That's all I'm bringing. Yesterday I was home. Sunday night I was home. Tonight I'm going there to sleep over again. So I'm bringing the Tarte Tardis, um, Pro Palette with me. Like, the custom magnetic palette that I got yesterday. This is so perfect to fit my eyeshadows and my blushes in. Because it's a little bit bigger than a Z palette and then I don't have to bring, like, I don't have to take everything out of one Z palette and put it into another one. I found that this was perfect. I was going to bring the Buxom um, eyeshadow palette with me, but then I just decided to stick eye single eyeshadows in here again. I didn't bring Makeup Geek or ColourPop this time. I decided to bring my other two brands of single shadows, so I'm bringing MAC and Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows with me. So the first row is all MAC right here, and then these two. So I'm bringing those ones, and then for the rest of them, they're all Anastasia Beverly Hills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those are all Anastasia shadows. And then the last two are just, this one's just ColourPop Firefly, because you guys know that's like my favorite transition shade ever, so I just bring it everywhere. And then just Makeup Geek Starry Eyed, because I kind of wanted to bring it, just in case if I want to use it or not. I know this might be a little bit excessive for someone that's just like chilling at my boyfriend's house, but... I'm a makeup addict, guys, and this isn't really that ridiculous. Like, this is the only eyeshadows I'm bringing with me. I just, like, you know, you like to have options. And then I'm just bringing my other two MAC blushes with me. I've just been really loving MAC blushes recently, so I'm bringing Spring Sheen and Style because I wanted something a little bit orangey, you know. Just in case if it's a lot warmer tomorrow, I might want to pop it on. But I wanted to bring Spring Sheen last time, but I can only fit, like, two blushes you know, because I'm bringing starry-eyed, like, it's kind of annoying me that I can't just line them up here. It's just, I just really love the layout of this palette. I don't know how many times I'm going to be able to rotate this palette because I am going to be um, eventually putting actual products that I've needed to use this for. I'm going to be getting the Sugar Pill eyeshadows and the Love Lux Beauty highlighters, and those are going to be, this is going to be their home for for this, this is going to be their home, this palette, 
I don't know why I can't talk. So I want to use this for when I sleep over somebody's house or for travel, but it's like going to be annoying if I have to rotate those every time. But I can just stick those in the other Z palettes, I guess, um, and just bring this one with me every time. So I'm really glad I decided to get this to use it today. So yeah, so anyway, let's stop rambling. So I concealed with the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. I purchased that yesterday and I got the shade Fair. I just have the box next to me, so I'm trying to remember. Actually, it's not Fair. I think it's called Ivory. So I brought, I got that. Um, and then I just set my face with the MAC Really Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. And then I didn't prime my eyes. I just concealed on the top and bottom. And then I went in with the ColourPop Firefly, of course, as my transition shade. And then I just used the Dose of Colors Baked Browns eyeshadow palette today. I only used, like, three of the colors. I just went in with Deserted on the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with Outdoorsy. And then for the brow bone, I just used Tea Light. And then I just really haven't been using outer corner shades lately because it's not really necessary for me. Um, so for the lid shade, I did go into the Jouer um, Cosmetics Skinny Dip eyeshadow palette again, and I used two shades. I used the shades um, Skinny Dip and Tan Lines, and I kind of darkened it up a lot more with Tan Lines because I was like, you know what, I could use this shade too. It's like a deep bronzy shade, and it's still like everyday appropriate, and it's just so freaking pretty. Look at that, right? Isn't it gorgeous? And that's basically it for the eyes. And then I just went in, the, in with the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara on the top and bottom. And then I just smudged um, Deserted and a little bit of Outdoorsy on the lower lash line. This one, this is the one I used in my crease and I darkened out the crease more with this one. So I just used these three shades basically. I didn't use these two. And then I just used the Skinny Dip Palette. So I used those two. And then on the highlight of the inner corners, I used the Skinny Dip Eyeshadow again because it's a little bit lighter than the bronze one so and I didn't want a pink today so that's why I used that and then I went in with the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara on the top and then I didn't do bronzer again I just really haven't been wearing that much bronzer lately I'm still bringing the butter bronzer with me but I just don't really wear it that often um, when I'm just doing simple makeup it's not essential for me to do but what's annoying is that, like, when I put concealer on, sometimes I feel like this part looks so bare. But I think it looks fine. Like, it looks like my natural freckles, you know? So, I went in with the MAC blush in the shade Sun Bask, and then I used a new highlighter today. I think I have the packaging. I should have brought it in here, but I received my Ofra order today, and I received the two highlighters that I purchased. I got the Beverly Hills um, Color Wheel highlighter and I got the Rodeo Drive highlighter so I used Rodeo Drive today and oh my god these are so freaking beautiful like their formula is amazing I'm already so impressed because it's like one swipe like this is only two swipes like I did one swipe in the pan put it on and it was already so intense and then I went in with a second layer and this is how intense it is like I feel like if I do three layers it's going to be like blinding so this is the one I was definitely like drawn to first and wanted to use first. So I'm bringing the Beverly Hills one with me so I can use it tomorrow. And then I'm also bringing the Jouer Skinny Dip Highlighter so I can use that on Thursday. I did also receive the Sleek Cosmetics Highlighting Palette today. Um, but I just decided that was a little bit too intense. I mean, this is intense too. Like, as long as I do subtle makeup, like, I feel like my highlight can be as intense as possible and it doesn't really make a difference because it's just highlight, you know? I feel like I've been really into that lately. Like, subtle makeup on the face and eyes and, like, a, like a bomb highlight. And I feel like it just makes your skin look more dewy and more, like, um more like radiant and healthy looking if you just have like a little bit of like an intense highlight you know what I mean and plus like it's summer now so I can wear like I wear an intense highlight year round and then I went over everything with the hourglass at the light powder and then I also got a new setting spray yesterday I got the NYX dewy skin mist so I used that today and I really liked it I really like how it feels on the skin it dries really fast and it doesn't feel like anything that's sticky on my face so I really like it so far so I'm bringing that with me too to use it more and then I just brushed through my brows with a spoolie and then set them with the Anastasia Claire brow gel I think I'm also bringing the Smashbox primer water too but 
I just bring that everywhere. And then for my lips, I just prime them with the NYX Lip Primer, and then I line them with the uh, MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Subculture, and then I filled them in with the Lime Crime Velveteen in the shade Lulu, because like I said, I'm like addicted to these um, shades lately from Lime Crime, so that's all I'm bringing are those two, and I'm just bringing the Marc Jacobs like a lip lipstick too, just in case I want to wear something else. Um, and then I'm also just bringing um, the lip liner that I think is in my bag already, which is ColourPop Skimpy. I've just been loving that lately. But I did wear Subculture today because it was just in front of me and I just didn't feel like digging through my bag for it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go. I've been living in these Lucky Brand shirts the past like two weeks. They're just so simple to wear and they're just stylish without being like too crazy. So... I just think they're so pretty and so easy to wear with jeans that I've, that's all I've been living in is jeans and these Lucky Brand shirts because these are new shirts to me so I wanted to wear them um, more than once this past week and I just thought it was perfect for me to wear them today. So yeah, hopefully I will be sleeping over her house on Friday so hopefully I'll be able to do like more of a fun makeup look on Friday but I am going to be at, ha at his house tonight and tomorrow so that's it. Bye! Okay, so hey guys, I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look makeup look for today. Again, it's very late at night. I'm here at my boyfriend's house again. Um, I went home on Sunday night and Monday and then I came back last night and I was here from like 8 to like and then I like slept over and then I spent like the whole day here today. So we've watched like three movies, not that many like great movies, but we've just been watching like comedies and we just watched The Jungle Book because he's never seen it. So yeah, again, just been doing like the same type of makeup look. Just concealer eyes, blush, highlight, and lips, and mascara, and that's really it. Um, again, I haven't worn foundation in like a week. There just hasn't been a need to wear it recently because he likes when I don't really wear that much face makeup. So anyway, I just wore like this white Eileen Fisher shirt today um, with like a black, um, the same black like cotton sweater I wear with like everything, and then I wore like these linen BB pants, which are actually really comfortable, so... It's like a nice outfit, but it's like comfortable. <coughs> Sorry, I'm like losing my voice again. But we just went to um, Stop and Shop today so he can get some food for the week. And then we went to Dunkin' so I can get some coffee. Um, and then we were here for the rest of the time. We didn't watch any movies yet though because we were like deciding what we wanted to see later. We only watched Trailer Park Boys. And then we went out again to get Buffalo Wild Wings and just pick it up because me and him just really wanted wings today. So we got Buffalo Wild Wings. So yeah, that's what we did today. Mostly just been hanging out at his house and watching movies. So anyway, um, I primed my eyes with the Smashbox 24-hour primer and then went over that with the same MAC powder. And then I used, um, well, I used the MAC Merlis Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. And I did use the Maybelline. Oh my god, I don't want to drop this. The Maybelline. Maybelline. Maybelline Better Skin Concealer in the color Ivory. And then I set my face with a Mac Miller's Convention Natural in the shade Medium. And then I part my eyes and, and etc. Then I used ColourPop's Firefly as my transition shade. And then I just brought this like Target palette. Target. This Tarte palette with me today. I told you guys I was going to bring it. It's just so nice to fit like 15 or like or so eyeshadows in and then to put like a couple of blushes in it's like perfect because you have like all your essential eyeshadows and then you can still bring like two blushes to have like some options so this is the only eyeshadow I brought with me um since I brought Makeup Geek and Colourpop the last time to his house I brought my other single shadows from other brands I brought MAC and Anastasia this time so I used MAC shadows today and I've just been really into their blushes, so I brought Spring Sheen and Style with me. Those are the two blushes. So these are the eyeshadows I used today. Um, so I used um, Soft Brown in the Crease first, and I darkened up the crease more with Brown Script. Then I used All That Glitters on the lid, and then I used um, Long Type on the brow bone. And then I just highlighted the inner corners with Nylon. And that's pretty much it. I used mostly all of them except for like copper ring. And I didn't bring brown down with me because I like um, hot chocolate more. I haven't even been wearing outer corner highlights though. I've just been doing really natural eyes. So I've been able to wear a lot more of my natural eyeshadows re recently. Recently, I didn't do anything on my lower lash line today. I just didn't feel like it. Should I just put mascara on the top lashes? 
I didn't do bronzer either. So I just went in with the MAC blush in the shade Spring Sheen on my cheeks. And then for the highlight, I did use the other Ofra highlighter today. This is the Ofra highlighter in the shade um, Beverly Hills. It's so gorgeous. It's so pretty. It's actually a lot more subtle than it was before because my makeup did fade. I mean, my concealer's not going to last all day, and I've had it on since like 2 p.m. today. It's like 2 a.m. right now. So my concealer is obviously going to fade a lot faster than like my foundation. And like I've said before, the only thing that's not like absolutely essential for me to wear every day is foundation. So I can be perfectly fine with just wearing concealer for like a week as long as I wear eyeshadow and highlight recently and lipstick. So yeah love this it's gorgeous so i got these yesterday so i brought this one with me and also um jouet skinny dip i left um rodeo drive at home but i'm hoping to wear that again on like friday but we'll see then i went over everything with the hourglass at the air light powder then i said everything with the nyx dewy skin mist which i've been really liking as well and then i brushed through my brows with a spoolie and then set them with the anastasia clear brow gel and then for my lips i primed them with the nyx lip primer and then i lined them with the MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Subculture, and then I filled them in with the Lime Crime Velveteen in the shade L. Um, again, I just brought these two with me again. I've been addicted to those two shades recently, L and Lulu, so I wore Lulu yesterday and I wore L today, and that's really it. So yeah, bye. Okay, so hi. So I just wanted to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. I did not record a makeup look yesterday because I really didn't wear any makeup because I was coming back from my boyfriend's house. I really like how this look turned out. I think it really draws a lot of attention to the eyes. I used a bunch of new products today. I shot a whole get ready with me. So I really like how it turned out. So I hope you guys liked it too. And I'm really hoping that the blush looks okay. I just feel like it kind of faded a little bit. And I applied like a lot of blush. So let me just see how it looks in person. I mean, it looks okay in person. Whatever. I don't care. So I primed my face. I wore this um, dress, like this Bailey striped dress, because I thought it looked really good with the eye makeup, because I think it worked <laughs> with the eye makeup I was going to do. I was going to do a very vibrant, colorful look today. So I used a bunch of new eyeshadows on my eyes today. I was so excited to dive into them. So I want to tell you the ones that impressed me and which ones didn't. So I primed my face with the... Um, uh, the, the Urban Decay Prep Prime Setting Spray. I'm hoping to get out of here within the next like 20 minutes. Um, and the Stila One Step Corrector. Then I went in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte, uh, Dewy and Smooth Foundation in the color 110 Porcelain. And then I concealed with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer in the color Fair Light. And then I set my face with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder Foundation in the color 2. Then I primed my eyes with the, um, with the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Base and then went over that with the same MAC uh, Giorgio Armani Powder. And then I went in with all new eyeshadows today. I didn't even use my regular standard transition shades. I used a couple of Sugar Pill shadows today because I did place an order on sugarpill.com. So I did use quite a few of those shades. So I went in with um, Heart Shaped Cookie as my transition shade. And then I used a little bit of the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette today as well. And I used that on my eyes too. And I have the shades on the back here. Because I um, packed it to use tomorrow. Because obviously I want to use it fully tomorrow. I only used a couple of the shades from it today. I used it mostly on the lower lash line. And I really like how the lower lash line turned out. I think it looks so good. It looks nice and smoky. I don't know. I really like this combination. I really like the deep lower lash line. So I used the shade um, Chaser in my crease as well as a transition shade. And then the rest are sugar pills. So then I used Buttered Cupcake, which is like this really pretty yellow shade on my crease. Then I used um, the shade Flame Point to um, define the crease more. And then for the outer corners, I used the shade Love Plus. And it's a really beautiful matte red. So this is like a matte orange and this is a matte red. And so far, I really love these. The red is gorgeous, so I really like how it turned out. And then the rest of the look is using all of the shades that I used from the Naked Heat palette. So I used the two shimmery shades from the palette. I used um, Loom Bright and Dirty Talk, and I mixed those two shades together. I'm not absolutely thrilled about the shimmery shades so far. 
I don't think it really did much to the lid. I mean, I'm glad that it stayed on and it didn't like fall out or anything because I really didn't have that much fallout at all with the Sugar Pill shadows. That was really impressive for me. That really impressed me a lot. Um, I can't stop staring at my lower lash line. I need to start doing like darker colors with liner on my lower lash line. It really helps a look like pop and I love it. So, um, anyway, I just don't think they were as shimmery as I thought they were going to be. Not the same quality as, like, the first Naked Palette or other shimmery shadows that I've used from Urban Decay. But this is just based on a first impressions. I might start liking them more if I use them more. So I will let you guys know my thoughts tomorrow after using it again. So, yeah, and then I used the shade Ounce on my brow bone, and I really liked that shade. And that was it for that. And then I lined my eyes with the Stila Sale Day Eyeliner in the shade Black. And then I went in with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara on the top. And then I concealed under my eyes with the Tarte Concealer. And then I set that with the Lerm Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And then on the lower lash line, I used two of the matte shades from the palette. And I used the shades He Devil and Cayenne. And I smudged those on the lower lash line. And I really love how they turned out. They're so beautiful. Like a very... Uh, warm brown shade and I really like how it turned out and then I lined my waterline with the color pop with the Urban Decay 24 7 glide on sign on liner in the shade zero I originally went in with whiskey but it was just too brown on the lower lash line so I went in with the black instead and that definitely added what I needed and then for the inner corners I did take a combo of ounce and um that shade loom bright again and I really like how it turned out, but I did kind of pop on a little bit of inner corner highlight from the ColourPop Pressed Powder Duo in the shades. Um, I have it right here. Let me just grab it. I'm moving a little bit slow now because I got I gotta go, man. Um, I'm already like an hour late because I told her I wasn't gonna be getting out of the house until like five. So, yeah, this one is getting handsy and patted down. This is the Pressed Powder Double Play Duo. And I used the um, pressed powder highlighter in the shade Patted Down a little bit on the inner corners. Probably should have put on a little bit more because it's not really doing much, but whatever. It's not a big deal. Um, and then for the lower lash line, I went in with the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. And then I bronzed up the skin with the Marc Jacobs Instamark Dreamer Filter. And then I went in with the blush from that duo in that other shade, I think getting handsy or whatever yeah getting handsy very sexual and then for the highlight I tried out two different highlighters and they were both too frosty white for me so I actually had to go over it again and I went over it with concealer and then I went in with the highlight and I used the Ofra um Beverly Hills highlighter instead and I just used that and I really like how that turned out instead because it's like just an intense gold so that worked a lot better because the other one was like way too frosty white for the look that I was going for. And then I went over everything with the Hourglass with the Light Powder. Then I set everything with the um, NYX Dewy uh, Setting Spray. <sighs> then I filled in my brows with the Anastasia Brown Definer and Caramel. And then set that with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And then for my lips, I primed them with the NYX Lip Primer. Then I lined them with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Skimpy. And then I filled them in with the... Lime Crime Velveteen in the shade L, and then I um, went over it with the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade My Jam. I actually really like how it turned out. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to go because I need to finish getting ready. So bye. Jacked up. Okay, so hi. So I didn't decide to wear any makeup right now because I really wanted to take it off after um, I recorded my last makeup look, um, the 4th of July one, but that's in next week's Everyday Makeup Look book. But I did want to tell you guys about the look that I showed you right before this. When I went out with my best friend, we shot a whole Get Ready With Me video on the look. So I did use the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette on my eyes, and you pretty much know everything else I used if you watched that video. So we did go out to Jerry and the Mermaids that night. Um, we went out to karaoke, and it was when she was here. Honestly, I'm really missing going to karaoke with her. 
now, but I'm not going to be able to go out again for a while, except for like with my boyfriend for the next like two weeks, because I really need to get hired at these two jobs that I had interviews for on Monday to start training hopefully next week, because yeah, I really need to start training. <laughs> so anyway, um, I believe I primed my face with the Urban Decay B6 spray and the, um, Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I think that was the only primer that I brought with me. And then I used the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation in the color Porcelain or Ivory, whatever the lightest shade is. And then I concealed with the Maybelline Better Skin Super Stay Concealer. My nose is like so dry right now. It's like driving me nuts. In the shade Ivory, I believe. And then I set my face with the MAC Merlin Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. And then I primed my eyes with the, I think the Urban Decay Primer Potion because I accidentally forgot to bring a primer with me. And then I set that with the same MAC powder. And then I went in entirely with the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. And I used the shade Chaser in my crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with Sauced. Then I used He Devil to darken it up more. And then I used Cayenne and En Fuego on the outer corners. And then for the lid, I used the shade Scorched. And then for my brow bone, I used the shade Ounce. Because this was the only, again, the only palette I brought with me because that's when I first got it. I have been using the crap out of this palette since I've gotten it. Um, I did use it on Monday. So I've used this about six times already. So I've used basically all of the shades. And I'm planning on using it tomorrow so I can use this lid shade. So then I will have used the entire palette and I can film my review. And I'm probably going to film my review tomorrow. So yeah, it's been pretty easy for me to create looks with this because it's such a gorgeous palette. It's so good. So that's basically all I used um, on the top part. And then I just lined my eyes with a Stila Stale Day Eyeliner in the shade Black. And then I went in with the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. And then I concealed under my eyes with the Maybelline Concealer. And then I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And then I smudged um, En Fuego and Cayenne. Cayenne and En Fuego on the lower lash line. And then that was everything that I used from the Na Naked Heat palette. I feel, like I've gotten, I feel like I've gotten more use out of this than like any other Urban Decay palette in the last like few weeks. I've only been using this palette along with the Makeup Geek Shadows and the Jouer and the Stila and the Juvia's Place and the Sugar Pill and the Love Lux Beauty. Like I really have just been concentrating on using those. So... Um, and then I highlighted the inner corners with one of the Ofra highlighters, and I used, um, the gold shade just on my inner corners. I used the, um, Ofra Beverly Hills highlighter, and I used that, like, lighter gold shade on my inner corners. And then I went in with the, um, Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On Sign On Pencil in the shade 0 on the lower lash line, and then I went in with the Max 10 Blakey Black Lash on the bottom lashes. Then I bronzed up the skin with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and then I went in with the ColourPop um, Double Play Blush in the shade um, Getting Handsy. I, I never remember. Getting Handsy or Pat It Down. I never remember the name. And then for the highlight, I did use the Ofra Beverly Hills uh, Color Wheel, and I used the, sh the gold shade again along with the darker bronze shade in the, pa in the little color wheel, and that's what I used as my highlight. And then I went over everything with the Hourglass Ethereal Light Powder. Then I set everything with the NYX Dewy Skin Mist. I believe I brought it with me. And then I didn't bring a brow product with me. So all I did was brush through them with a, sp with a spoolie. And then for my lips, I primed them with the NYX Lip Primer. Then I lined them with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Skimpy. And then I filled them in with the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Echo Park. So that was the only other shade I had with me besides the Lion Prime one that I brought with me. And I was going to wear a red lip, but then I was like, I felt like that the um, nude lip looked better with my makeup look. So I just went in with a nude lip. But I did top it off with a gloss, and I used the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade My Jam, because that was the only gloss that I brought with me. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So bye! Okay, so hey guys. Um, so I'm finally going to tell you guys about my makeup look for today. I've been at my best friend's house since Friday um, evening. I finally got back home about 10-15 minutes ago because I was putting my dog. So it's now 12 a.m. So I got home at like 11.45. Originally I was supposed to leave a lot earlier today. 
But then me and my friend were possibly going to go to Ulta today because we didn't, we weren't able to make it there yesterday. Last night we went out to karaoke again and we went to Jerry and the Mermaids. Um, but I'm wearing glasses because I didn't bring an extra pair of contacts with me because like I said, I was only planning on staying Friday. But I did have enough clothes for two days, but not for the third day. So that's why I'm wearing the same dress that I wore on Friday. And I do have my makeup on last night that I will tell you guys what it was. But I'll tell you guys that tomorrow. I'm just so tired, so I'm just going to go through my look really quickly. But I did forget to bring eyebrows with me and primer. Um, eyeshadow primer, but everything else I remembered. But I can't believe I forgot to bring eyebrow stuff with me. So yeah, I primed my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And then I went in with the L'Oreal um, Infallible Pro Glow Foundation in the color 110 Ivory. Because that's the only foundation I brought with me. And then I only brought the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. So that's what I used today in the shade Ivory. And then I just set my face with the MAC Marley Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. And then I primed my eyes with concealer because, like I said, I wasn't going to whip out my best friend's uh, eye primer because I thought we were going to go out today, but we didn't. But I still wanted to put makeup on. And then one of our friends ended up coming over her house for like two hours. So I'm glad I put it on because we did end up seeing her. So, And I just really wanted to use this again. So the only palette I brought with me to her house was the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette because obviously I wanted to get a lot more use out of it. So I did use this last night and today and on Friday in a whole Get Ready With Me. But actually me and my fr best friend actually shot an entire Get Ready With Me of me and her getting ready last night to go out to karaoke. So that will be up soon. Um, but I'm probably going to get my first impressions video up of this. So far, I really have been enjoying it. First of all, the packaging is freaking gorgeous, and just the colors are really beautiful. So I used, um, I figured that these were great for uh, transition shades as well. So I used Chaser as my transition shade. Then I used Sauce to darken up the crease more. Then I used Low Blow to define the crease. And then for the outer corners, I used He Devil and Cayenne. And then for the brow bone, I used um, Ounce. And then for the lid, I mixed Dirty Talk and Scorched together. So I've been using mainly those ones. But it's pretty easy to use this palette a lot because, you know, you have your lid shades and you have your crease shades. I'm probably going to bring this palette again with me to our house as well, as long with the... as well as the sugar pill eyeshadows. I'm going to try and wear those on Thursday possibly. I'm not really sure yet because I do want to do like a more colorful look with them. So yeah, this palette was really nice um, so far. I will have indents on my uh, face, on my... I'm sorry, I'm so tired. We barely got any sleep. Um, I'm going to have indents on my face for my glasses, but I just wanted to show you guys the actual look without my glasses on. So I think it turned out really pretty. And then I just concealed under my eyes with the uh, Maybelline concealer. And then I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And then I smudged um, Sauced and Low Blow on the lower lash line. And that's everything that I used from the palette. And then for my inner corners, I did just use a highlighter. Because like I said, I didn't really bring an inner corner highlight with me. And plus the... Um, the uh, Urban Decay palette doesn't really have an inner corner highlight. So I did just go in with the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara on the top and bottom. And then I just, uh, not on the bottom, I just used the, Maybelline, the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash on the bottom. And then for the inner corners, I used this highlighter. I only brought this and another highlighter with me. I brought the Ofra um, Beverly Hills Color Wheel Highlighter again. Um, and I have been using this for my inner corners as well. So I did use these two shades, the um, gold shade and the white shade. Oh my god, it's so bright. This shade and this shade I used on my inner corners and I really like how it turned out. So I used that. And then I just bronzed up my skin with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer because that was the only bronzer I brought with me because, again, I wasn't sure how long I was going to be there. And then this is the only blush slash highlight um, or other highlight that I brought with me was the ColourPop um, 
pressed powder palette. So I've literally worn this blush three times already because I wore it on Friday. I wore it last night because I planned on wearing it last night anyway. And I also wore it today too. So um, I did wear this blush in here called, um, I believe called Getting Handsy, but I feel like it faded. I don't know. I'm kind of iffy about this blush. I mean, it's so pretty, but I feel like it fades as soon as you put it on. I don't know. And then for the highlight, I did use this highlight in here. And this one is called Patted Down. This is the first time that I've actually used this one on my cheeks. Because yesterday I used this on my cheeks. And today I used this one. It's really, really pretty. I couldn't really tell how it looked, though, because I was doing my makeup like half blind. Because, again, I didn't have contacts. So... Yeah, and then I went over everything with the Hourglass with the Light Powder, and then I started everything with the um, NYX Dewy Skin Mist. And then I um, didn't do anything to my brows, because again, I didn't have anything for them. Then um, for my lips, I primed them with the NYX Lip Primer, then I lined them with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Skimpy. And then I filled them in just with a gloss because I only brought two liquid lipsticks with me and one gloss. And I didn't really feel like putting on one of those lipsticks again because I've worn the shade L from Lime Crime like four times already. So I did wear that on Friday, I topped off with this gloss. And then last night I brought Echo Park for, with me from ColourPop, the Ultra Satin Lip. So I wore that and I topped it off with this gloss. And then today I just wore this gloss on its own. So I've definitely gotten my fair share out of this gloss recently. This is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade My Jam. It's just so pretty on its own that I was like, you know, I'm just going to wear it by itself today because... They're such comfortable glosses to wear by themselves. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I will tell you guys my full look tomorrow. I'm just so tired. I might not even wear makeup tomorrow because I am planning on going to the gym. But I need to get ready for bed now. I'm so happy to be in my own bed now. So, bye.